Father Flager wasted no time speaking to his congregation today, thanking them for their support through a time he describes as painful. He encouraged me, he supported me. Father Michael Lewis Flager. An entrance met with applause, tears, and relief from St. Sabina parishioners as Father Michael Flager returned to the helm of senior pastor. I thank you for believing in me. I thank you for never giving up on me. He made his first public comments after being reinstated following an investigation into sexual abuse allegations. This has been very painful um, to be twice in a row in like two and a half years. Um, but two things. God is faithful. God is faithful no matter how bad things look. Today's date now with new meaning to the pastor. 1210, that's the address of St. Sabina. That's your home. You're coming back home. This comes after Flager was asked to step aside from the ministry in October when a man now in his late 40s filed a claim with the archdiocese saying Flager sexually abused him on two separate occasions in the 80s. An independent review board said the claims were unfounded. The accuser's attorney calling the decision disappointing, saying his client presented detailed evidence concerning abuse. I think my client deserves to know, you know, why they reached the result they did. I think I deserve to know. And, you know, what was unfounded about his story? While the St. Sabina community plans to continue their support. I felt his, his, his love for his congregation. I felt his hurt, his pain. For their returning senior pastor. Like MJ said, I'm back. I love you. Thank God for you. I'll talk with you soon. See you tomorrow. God bless you all. I love you, St. Sabina. There ain't no place in the world like St. Sabina Church. And Father Flager says he plans to lead Mass at St. Sabina tomorrow morning at 10. Ravi. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.